This is Nicole Hetty from Paper Tree Ink, and today I'm going to show you a bit more about the new Secret Agent glasses dies. These are really fun and easy to make, and they absolutely thrill kids to death. And they are just the right size to tuck inside of a card. I'm going to show you how easy it is to assemble these. Um, we're going to make an extra sturdy pair because kids can be a bit rough on things sometimes. So we're going to do everything in double layers. I cut two. Um, two of the fronts. One is, they're both out of true black cardstock, but I also cut it a third time out of some thin striped pattern paper. And these are cut twice to make four pieces total. So what I'm going to start with first is I'm going to adhere these together back to back. And I'm just going to use a bit of score tape that job. I love score tape because you can just easily tear it with your fingers and not have to worry too much about your scissors. So there I've put some score tape on the back. I'm going to re remove the paper backing. I'm going to take another piece here. And I'm going to adhere it right on top. And all of these shapes are designed so you can put them back to back with the good sides out. Because you know when you die cut the back of your paper, gets a little bit of a texture to it almost, especially if your plate is a little bit well worn. And the way these um, I designed these you can put the good sides out. So I'm going to repeat the same thing on this other side. So now I have two um, double thick side pieces all set and ready to go. Now I'm going to work on the front and I'm going to take the one that I lined with the pattern paper and I'm actually going to flip it over to work on the back side. And I'm going to be lining these glasses with this red transparency film. Um, this will be useful for decoding messages um, that use the corresponding secret agent stamp set. Now there isn't a die um, for the actual lenses just to help keep the cost down with this die. So what I did was I impressed the glasses onto the red transparency film to show me what part was going to show and then I just cut around this with scissors, a little bit smaller than the exterior mark, but I want to make sure to allow enough to adhere, adhere it onto the glasses. And just make sure you don't get too close to that interior line because that's where you're opening it in your glasses is. And you want to be able to adhere these in there without too much trouble. So there's my two lenses. And again, I'm going to go in with the score tape and I'm going to just work my way around. Score tape is so forgiving. You can go around curves just like this. I'm going to go around this opening. Now, if you're a fan of liquid glues, um, you could also use liquid glue if you have a bit more patience than I do. But I find this um, 1 8 inch score tape seems to work pretty well for me. I'm just going to keep going around, kind of crimping the tape as I go to go around the curves of the lenses here, just like that. 
So I'm going to remove the paper backing. You can see the score tape there around the openings. And I'm actually going to flip this upside down. And I can just use this line that was impressed into the lens as my guide to go ahead and place this perfectly in place. Just like that. And now for the second lens, I'm going to do the same exact thing. Press it nicely so it's got a full adhesion. And there you go. The lenses are now in place. Now to finish the assembly, I'm going to go ahead and use a bit of score tape here and here. And I'm going to create just a little bit of a fold right here. Oh, I'd say about a, a little less than a half inch. Doesn't really matter. You just probably want to try to get these about the same, the fold about the same place. So if you put them together like this, you can make sure they're both folded about the same. And I'm going to go ahead and put, place this right there so it lines up with the corner of the glasses. Now to add a little bit of extra stability, I can just see this being pulled off by a kid when they're wearing them. I'm going to go ahead and use a paper piercer to pierce a hole through all these layers. And I'm going to add a brad. I had these little nice diamond shaped brads that I thought would be a good touch. Once I have the brad through the hole, I'm just going to fold back the tabs. And there I have that nice little detail and it will help in holding this in place. Okay, now that I have both of these brads in place, and you totally can skip the brad step if you don't want to do it. Um, they're, they'll definitely hold up pretty well without it, but that just gives you an extra added security. Now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and adhere this onto the back, and it will cover up those brads and also um, help the earpiece, earpieces to stay on a bit better and just make everything a bit more sturdy overall. So again, I'm going in there with the 8th inch score tape. Going around each lens. Removing the paper backing. And go ahead and take in this second one that I cut and lining it up just so. Pressing it firmly into place and really pressing down over those brads that will help hold everything together. And there you go, you got some really cool glasses from the front and back. Ready to uh, surprise a recipient with.